Okay, no fuss, small game processing. <clears throat> so I was out shooting at the weekend. I got a hare, I also got a few wood pigeon and a woodcock, but uh, the boards are in the freezer already. It's not that cold at the moment, so I'm not going to leave this hanging too long. It's hanging for 24 hours, it's long enough. <clears throat> so I'm going to process them now. Uh, I've already gutted them, I gutted them in the field. So nothing inside them but uh, if you're wondering about that you have a lot of people talking about um, being very careful when you're sliding the knife up inside you don't want to puncture any organs and things yeah theoretically yeah I suppose they're right but uh, listen I've done a hell of a lot of days and it's the least of my worries when I'm doing that just get the knife in there as long as you don't go stabbing them to bits you're not going to puncture anything you know within reason also there's also the chances that if you shot them you may have ruptured something inside already so you know don't worry about it too much just whatever knife you're using this just happens to be the knife i have here at the moment either start down at uh, in between their two back legs slide it up to the rib cage or go the other way whichever way you want it's not a precise science so just get it done once you have that done hand inside scoop out all the insides get them cleaned if you can do it in the field well and good if you take them home some people say it's going to uh, taint the meat I've never found that. I've brought loads of them home and done them at home. Um, I've done lots of them in the field as well. It's so whatever tickles your fancy. It makes them lighter to carry. I had to carry this guy over for uh, a few hundred yards through uh, the bog, holding him up like this, so he was lighter. So, processing. Once you've all that done and you're going to start, uh, first thing I always do is remove the head. So that's what I'm going to do. So when you're removing the legs, on a hair, they have very long legs, and anything below below the uh, the joint here, it's not worth the hassle. So from there, just you'll find that sinew in there. Once you feel that go, cut all around. And then you can just pop it. There you go. actually broke this leg when I shot him so it should come clean off there you go. back legs that's where the meat is come down to the ankle joint here you can feel the tendon there again so if you just slice into that it pops straight away slice all around back you go Same on the other leg, feel the tendon, she pops. If you like, you can use a cleaver. It comes. So, as I said, he's been gutted. Some people might find it a bit spooky, but there you go. That's what we all look like inside. So the way I always start when I'm removing the skin is to take it back as far as you can. All right. When you have it to about there, at the start of the meat on the leg, I always just bend it up, put pressure on the joint and pull back. It should push through. There you go. So then it's a matter of peeling it back. Till you can get your hand under the joint. So now the skin is still attached here. Just peel it off. 
Same on the other side. All the way through, peel it off. Now, in around his butt, there's a membrane there, and some, seeing you attaching to the back of the tail, slice down through that. Tail will still be attached, so slice through that. Now, once you have that cut off, theoretically, that's most of the work done. Look at the muscle on that. I'll just bring it in and show you. Bodybuilder, I'd be very proud of those muscles. As I say, once you have them off past the tail, it's a matter of simply peeling. A lot of shot in there from where I got them. Just keep peeling. As you come up to the front, you can push the front legs through again. Get your hand underneath. See the damage there? That's where I hit him in the front shoulder with a size 5 shot. So you can see the damage that that do. And you can imagine the damage that it'll do to you. So, hell of a lot of damage there. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim that off with the knife. There you have it. One nice skin. Which I may do something with. Roll that up. And one piece of small game. Next job is to clean them off and bring them into the sink clean them off. Several ways you can quarter them up, you can take off the back side and the front and then you will just have the line here along the back. You can remove the legs, remove the two legs up front and have the whole section. Most of the time so I will just package the whole lot up in uh, tin foil into the freezer and it's good there for indefinitely I suppose but uh, then whenever you fancy some hare or rabbit or whatever 
just out she comes and you can do it whatever way you want but the nicest piece obviously is the line along the back and as opposed to a rabbit which is very small the hair has a substantial amount of meat on along the back so makes for a good meal and that's it the heat out <laughs>